right, in this video we're going to give a quick overview of how to create a Google Calendar event um, and then invite someone to that event. All right, so um, here I am. I'm in Google Calendar already. Uh, if you don't remember how to get into it, all you have to do is make a new tab, go to the waffle, go down to Calendar, and your Google Calendar will open up. All right, so currently my calendar is set up for a full month view. Um, you can change the view right over here. Um, right now it's set to a month. I prefer to do it at a week, so then I can kind of look at my whole week and see what I've got planned. Um, it also makes it easier to add new events um, than, than the large uh, calendar view. So um, the nice thing is uh, Google Calendar will hold the last view that you had. So if I leave, uh, right now it's on the week view. If I was to close that and then go in, and open Google Calendar again, it'll be open to the week view. All right, so it always stays in the last view that you set up. Um, so if I wanna set up an event, um, all I have to do is find that time and day. So maybe I want my event on the 6th at one o'clock. I can click right here and it automatically pops up to add the event. Um, now I can change all the event information here. I can change the date and time here. Um, but in order to invite somebody, I have to go into more options. All right, so if I'm going to start up here. I'm going to start with the title. So it's going to be tech training, Oops, tech, tech training. All right, and my event is going from 1 o'clock till 3.30. So I can just click here and scroll down to 3.30. And now um, I've got the time and the, the date and the time. And now I just need to add my guests. So I'm going to go ahead and add Japes. All right, so now I have myself as the organizer and Japes as the uh, invitee, the person I'm inviting. And that's pretty much all I need to do. So I can go ahead and click Save. And then you'll see it asks, it asks me if I want to send an invite. So if I click Send, that's going to automatically email Japes and let him know that I have invited him to this event. So if I go over to Japes' account, you'll see here it is. Here's my tech training invitation. I can open that up and it's going to ask right here, do I want to say yes that I'm going to be there, maybe or no? Yes, I will be there. I click on it and it is now saved into my calendar. And back over here, Jonathan can look at the event and see that Japes has confirmed and that he'll be at the meeting. So that is how you add an event to add an event and share it with somebody. Uh, hope that's helpful. We'll go into some of the more advanced features uh, at another time.